Hello guys and welcome to episode 40 of my Stellaris playthrough playing as the Skissa Circa Alviari and today we will continue our fight against the Prothoran Scourge. We've been doing pretty well in my opinion. Uh, we currently have two 60,000 strength fleets and we are basically making our way through the systems that they have infested and we're slowly wiping them out. So it's going like I say, pretty well. And at the moment, we do have to get our fleet from Devasa. I'm going to take him to the LR9 Singularity, and we will take out the systems or the uh, swarmers in that system. Now, my first attack swarm is going to be engaging the swarm hive there, or star hive, they are called. And after we've done that, I might actually be able to get a science ship to come and survey the projects in that system. Because we do have one spare. I believe this one at Redamon did have the ones that Xeomon queued. But since we had the spare one free, we may as well take that to Xeomon and get that done doubly quick. So we just got to get rid of the star hive as soon as possible and then we can move on to the next planets. All right, let's head up and uh, wipe out the infested planet of Piscus with our second attack swarm. I need to group up my other ships that are waiting around their spaceports and what I'll do is probably use them to Debris clear analyzed. up more of the military stations that the Scourge has been leaving around. So here we have discovered 70 or 80,000 worth of ships heading towards our 62,400 this is going to be a large battle, guys. Hostile fleet engaged. Let's hope our battleships can win the day this time round. We should be able to do a lot of damage from range. Over here, we've nearly got rid of this star hive completely. The science ship has just arrived. Situation log updated. And now what we can do is get the first attack swarm to come and help the second attack swarm. You are engaged in this very large fight. So far we are doing very well, chunking their hull points very, very quickly. As they get closer, they will start to do the same to us. You can see their bombers are starting to do some damage but our DPS just seems to be so much higher so now both sides doing a lot of damage to each other I'm not even sure if the first attack swarm will arrive on time to join in with this fight since it's getting very very intense one of the fleets has been entirely destroyed. Hostile fleet engaged. We are currently engaging the second. Their hold points still dropping very quickly. So the Zofad was destroyed at Redamon. That's not very good. That does mean Situation our scientist has updated. died there. But we did win the battle just here. So my battleships will continue to fight on as the last queen of that fleet dies. And we have met Mineral Cap. So let me build some more battleships. We'll add some more to the queue. So that we aren't wasting any minerals. And at Jug and Prime, we will of course be building the destroyers. 
So we have a new colony ship to use. Let's take him to Rantor. And we will colonize one of these planets. Actually, we can't colonize that one because it's already got population on it. Maybe I'll just invade them. Apparently, I can't. Do I have to bombard them first? Possibly. And then we'll get the transport fleet to come over and finish them off. In the meantime, the colony ship can head in that direction. So over here, not too much happening. Uh, mainly because the destroyers are going to be so far ahead of the battleships, it will take the battleships ages to actually engage. Debris the first attack swarm doesn't actually need to go to that system anymore since we did already win the fight. So let's make sure that they go to Chertan instead. We can get rid Situation of log that updated. system. Then we can travel to Homam and finish that off there. So this is technically their capital. But Marankaran, olfactory arousal. Long-term exposure to the pollen naturally occurring in Sakis Prime's atmosphere acts on the colonist's pheromone receptors with a mild aphrodisiac effect, accompanied by a barely perceptible high. The plant that produces the most potent strain is a flower common to all areas of the planet, squirreled away into some obscure taxonomic nook by scientists on Sakis Prime, but known in the local Schizocerca dialect as Marin Karin. So we cannot allow mind-altering particles in the atmosphere, or remarkable. Pheromone, first stage. We get plus 10% happiness. Let's just do it. Let's go for it. That would be quite amusing. Debris analyzed. So that colonist or infester completely dead now. Situation log updated. Hostile Hopefully my battleships will come into range sooner than later, else a lot of my destroyers Situation are gonna be dying. Updated. We have some powerful population factions apparently. Malcontent slaves. It's not very good. They all popped out the woodwork, didn't they? Why are they malcontent, I wonder? Either way, let's go ahead and do some harsh treatment or maybe make an example would be better. I don't know, I've got plenty of energy and influence to use, so let's just do that. And we could also make an example. Although they only have 10% support, so we'll leave it for now. So that we don't waste Situation those actions. Updated. I am going to build another science ship, so we'll add that to the queue after these colony ships. And on Pleon Prime, I do need to Situation actually build something updated. here and enslave the population. So we'll enslave them all. I'm actually just going to emancipate that guy. Uh, this can be upgraded. And what we can do is move some population now from Skisteron. We'll build a hydroponics farm on all of these food tiles. On this one we'll build a another hydroponics farm I think. And on this one we will build a mine. Then what we can do once we get the upgraded planetary administration we can move population from Skisteron over to Pleon Prime. A promising officer. We have a new captain available to Situation us. Log or Admiral. So let's have a look at what he's like. Situation log updated. He has the increased sensor range and evasion. So, I assume that's come from this fight. Our 66,200 have engaged about a 40,000 fleet. 
of the Scourge, but we are wrecking them at this close range. We're going to move in, wipe out the planets after we've destroyed that fleet. Debris analyzed. Situation log updated. So you can see my destroyers here because they're so far ahead they're just getting absolutely annihilated. My cruiser's doing okay, but they are Situation probably going to fall updated. to both of these star hives pretty quickly. And my battleship's just taking ages to carry up or catch up. It's so annoying. But at least we're still clearing uh, planets over here. Situation log updated. And at some point, we're basically just going to have full Hostile fleets fleet on battleships. Situation it's going to be ridiculous. Updated. Hostile fleet engaged. So here we're going to engage this star nest. Then probably the star hives afterwards. So that's going to take a little while. In the meantime, the second attack swarm finally getting into range with the battleships to attack the star hives Situation near Piscus. Let's make sure that these guys are doing something and we can get the fifth attack swarm to well, actually help us wipe out this planet. I want to land on there. Situation Why can I not land updated. on that? It's really irritating. So I'd like to colonize it, but there's nowhere for me to fleet engaged. Debris analyzed. to do that. Hostile fleet engaged. I'm pretty sure I destroyed population before. Debris analyzed. I guess we'll just have to colonize the one next to it for now. Until that becomes a sentient pop, and then we can take them over. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. So hopefully things won't take too long over here. Hostile fleet engaged. Because those fleets love to take their sweet time. Situation but in the meantime, updated. what we can do is upgrade more spaceports since we are still getting 1,000 minerals a month which is just insane. I'm going to make sure that I enslave the population on these planets properly. So why is that unenslaving them? They're perfectly happy while they're enslaved. Yeah, it's just done it again. Silly AI. So I'm just going to ignore that. I'm going to let the sectors do what they want. Updated. Maybe Situation it's because updated. other population on the planet don't like it. That's the only reason I can think of. Now what I could do is just pump some more minerals into some of these sectors, but some are actually hitting the cap. You can see here, they've got an 18,000 mineral stockpile. And they are not going to use that up anytime soon. Okay, so I may as well use these fleets. Let's go ahead and take out some more of the military stations. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Here we've nearly got rid of Thoroxed. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. And now we can get the ships from Piscus to go to Homam. I'm going to get the first attack swarm to head over to join them so that we can cut off this advance. Then my third and fifth attack swarm can go to all of these systems and clean those up. And it looks like we're going to have another one 
to clean up with soon. Situation log updated. So they can head to Matar or maybe Rov Gedi. Debris and we analyzed. can get rid of the military stations there. Right, so I'm going to make sure that all of those stations are dead. And we may as well continue to do things with our construction ships. But here we go, another event <laughs> to do with the petals. Making time for petals. Reports from Sakis Prime indicate that worker productivity has declined recently, becoming stable at levels several percent lower than the Schistocerca Alviare average. This may or may not be due to the stimulating effects of the pollen native to the planet. It probably is. A special project has been prepared should we wish to make our production pipelines more efficient to make up for the loss. Curious. So we have minus 15% minerals, but we still have the plus 10% happiness, I would assume. So it's like they're all smoking weed. Situation it's quite hilarious. Updated. Station under attack. Situation log updated. Debris analyzed. So, looks like people are still offering me to join their wars, which is not going to happen. All my fleets currently moving to new locations. We've just arrived in Homam. Let's go ahead and wipe out these military stations before we bombard the rest of the infested planets. So we've just engaged them there at Kodria. We may as well get this fleet to engage now. And you're probably wondering why I'm using a lower strength fleet to attack these these like stations, but that's because the battleships actually are very, very good at long range, so they can take on Situation those stations very updated. easily. Let's research that anomaly. Hostile fleet engaged. And we have too many colonized systems. I believe that's because we did colonize Rantor Prime. Yes, we did. Okay. So let me add that to a sector. I might give it to the Vel map sector if I do this. There we go. Situation log updated. That saves me having to give this sector with 22 planets another one. Hostile fleet engaged. Now what I can do Hostile is if I find engaged. any planets that are colonizable north of me where the invasion Hostile came in engaged. I can actually colonize them myself to avoid them being recolonized by the Prothoran scourge now let's head towards that infested planet and get rid of it station under attack situation log this fourth updated. attack swarm we're going to make that engage these stations now, since the other battleships Situation have arrived. Updated. And we do have a new colony ship available. Situation log updated. So let's take that to uh, Yanduz. Signs of battle. There is a clear evidence that a massive space battle took place in close orbit of Alvira 5 at some point in the last 5,000 years. The surface on one side of the planet is pockmarked with craters from stray weapon blasts and scans from the Passuron from the Passuron 10 have picked up several hulks on the ground. 
Though these wrecked ships are all in very poor condition, the fact that anything remains at all after the damage they must have sustained is a testament to their advanced design. Science Officer Oba says is preparing an expedition to sift through these derelict holes for any valuable technologies. Situation Intriguing. updated. Hostile fleet engaged. So let's colonize this planet. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Debris analyzed. Hostile fleet engaged. And all of my fleets are currently in combat. I think what will happen here though is because this is all battleships. They will all come into range at the same time. Onto that star hive. Situation log updated. And therefore Hostile we will do a lot of damage very quickly. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. So I think at the moment we're basically playing cleanup. Trying to get rid of the scourge once and for all. Situation log updated. We're going to get rid of these planets now since Situation we did just take out updated. that star hive. So we can take out three more infested planets. A lot of these battleships are low on health. I might actually fix them up before I send them elsewhere. Of course, we're going to let them destroy the infested world worlds first. Construction complete. We have another colony ship available. Debris analyzed. I believe there was another planet somewhere. That I could colonize. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Now I don't want to annoy the Forgotten Empires. So I'm not going to place it anywhere near them. Construction complete. Maybe we should take it to Ashimax. Yeah, we'll go to Ashimax Prime and colonize that. That will be a forward outpost for when we attack the Neberite Union. I'll basically place uh, a wormhole station or like maybe a few wormhole stations there and use it as like a forward base. System survey complete. So Marin Curran rooted in place. A recent survey indicates that residents of Zakis Prime are much less likely than other denizens of the Schister Circa Alviari to migrate to other planets. The survey does not address whether this could be due to a psychological dependency on the low-level sensory arousal caused by Marin Curran and its sibling plants. So mi minus 70% migration speed, that's fine. Do not care about that whatsoever. What I'm going to do is add to the other fleets that we have now. Situation log update. Let's go to Matar and take out the starports there. You can see these battleships practically taken no damage from these star hives as they've been engaging them. So they're perfect for cleaning them up. We do have the fifth attack swarm not doing anything, so let's head to Penic. And the first attack swarm, we will head to Brillisir. Situation log updated. And the fourth attack swarm can come to Hamkad. Since it's Hostile finished in Rob Geddy. Log updated. Debris analyzed.
And I think I'm just going to focus on surveying these systems as opposed to researching the project since researching the projects doesn't seem to be doing much at the moment. I'm going to need a new scientist for this ship. Hostile fleet engaged. So let's get the anomaly research speed and anomaly fail risk reduction. And we will head to Piscus to do that. Hostile fleet engaged. The second attack swarm has one more planet to destroy. And Marin Karin transmission trouble. While producti productivity is no longer declining on the planet, communications between the colony on Sakis Prime and the capital on Skisteron are breaking down. Senior officials on Sakis Prime are growing increasingly distant, and our clerks are complaining that even relaying simple directives is becoming an exercise in frustration. So we can either sigh, or we can deploy an administrative task force code Move. Is that move? <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, that's a bit of a weird name for a code. Bit of a weird code name. Uh, I guess we'll get the extra minerals. Sure, why not? They're all enslaved anyway. Let's pause the game quickly, just because I need to add to the queue some more ships. So I think I'm going to stop building destroyers just because they really mess up my fleets. And we're just going to continue to build battleships. So I'm going to build some more at Jugum Prime. We're going to add some more to the queue at our other stations. And that will use up all of our minerals for now. So yeah, we have all these research projects, but they're literally giving us like five or or ten research points, which isn't really worth the time when I could really basically use the surveying. Hostile ah, that's quite engaged. annoying. Let's get rid of that before my science ship goes straight into it. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. Ah, an enemy fleet has arrived. And the Neberite Union objects to our expansion. Your new colony on Ashimax Prime is located very close to our borders. We would prefer it if you withdrew from this frontier to avoid future conflicts over where our border should be drawn. Uh, the colony is part of our future. It stays. They can go to war if they like. They already hate us anyway. So we are going to wipe out Homam 4A. Science ship under attack. And that's not good. This is the one that I was worried about. So we might have to retreat Situation it. We've got 20 updated. days until emergency FTO is ready. Hostile fleet Hopefully Situation these projectiles won't absolutely wreck my ship. Yeah, well they did. <laughs> Too bad. Hostile fleet engaged. Right over here we need to attack that planet. Situation log updated. We've engaged the large enemy fleet coming our way. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. We really need to get rid of updated. those those builders. They're, they're so annoying. They're constantly building more like military structures everywhere. It's so frustrating. Anyway, it's time for our battleships to show their power as they engage another Scourge fleet. I, th I think we must have destroyed about 500,000 strength worth of ships so far, so this is just adding to that kill count. My particle lances are just so cool. 
and do so much damage. We are currently researching tachyon lances, and I just can't wait until these beams are blue instead of red. Situation log updated. It's crazy because by the time they even start damage damaging me, I'm already like killing half of their ships. Hostile fleet engaged. And when all the battleships focus the same targets, they just die so quickly. Anomaly found. Oh, another anomaly. Let's just uh, tell our science ship to work on that. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. And the second attack swarm is complete. And upper management betrayal. It appears that the crack team of administrators we sent to Sakis Prime in order to set things straight have been turned. Fortunately for us, their plot to do as little work as possible was unsurprisingly sloppily executed and easily discovered. Heads will roll, metaphorically speaking of course, as our last recourse is to depose the local government and manage the colony's affair from the capital. It won't be pretty. So is that just like broken free or, what, or what's going complete. on? Situation log updated. Do I need to like attack them? <laughs> so this attack swarm can head over to Dickim, I guess, complete. and we'll continue there. Situation log updated. And the smaller fleets can go around and get rid of the Hostile military stations. So I think what I might do is take that one to Penek. This one can go to Castor. The fourth attack swarm can head to Redamon, I think. Actually, we are in Hamcad already, aren't we? So if we head there, we can make sure that we take out those military stations. And we just failed an anomaly. That's unfortunate, but unfortunately, guys, it Most has been my time, engaged. so we are going to have to leave it here. We wiped out a lot of the infested planets north of us, but they seem to have amassed uh, a load more to our northwest, which is annoying. So we're going to have to deal with those now and clean out the rest of these military stations, try and get rid of those construction ships that keep building military stations, and then we should be good to continue our campaign of absolute domination. Next time round, I'll pick a new technology. But for now, that's all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>